Hello and good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to my Tonguit channel. In uh, this video, we are going to talk about the PCM and the application of uh, PCM uh, in terms of power electric, in terms of motor drive and the application for power electric and motor device. Uh, and there's an uh, application. So uh, first of all, as you already know, so in my uh, Tonguit channels, we are uh, running almost uh, uh, Malak and Simlink and um, other softwares in terms of uh, power to electric and uh, motor drive uh, for all the electric uh, motor to be used in um, electric vehicle uh, for example uh, the induction motor, the PFM, uh, the permanent magnet uh, synchronous induction machine or the, uh, the, uh, uh, the switch induction machine so if you want to learn more about the each uh, uh, machine that depend on the project so please uh, visit my channel here and search uh, the keywords for example here so uh, we have the uh, for the HIM the switch reluctant motor we have the almost three or four video and also we have the almost on the sensitive control for MIRC motor which is a very detailed step by step even it can uh, finally commit um, the uh, one um, completed project And the topic for today is the uh, PCM software. Uh, as you already know, the PCM is a very powerful tool for uh, power electric as well as the power supply and micro grid. So this is the um, uh, the main website uh, powersyntech.com. You can uh, visit to learn more. So in this website, they offer the uh, PCM products and they see and smart control pro and hardware also. So we can see the motor drive channel, the power supply channel, the uh, micro grid and grid connected, and storage and generation. All of them is, uh, is a lot of the massive um, material for our learning, as well as the tutorial about the how to use and run this solution, as well as uh, electric in generate code from um, basic software. So it is uh, in terms of. Uh, the earphones is the very earphones for uh, embedded uh, good uh, symptom. So uh, and there is a lot of tutorial uh, in the main website. So for example, the how to use the device physical model in the DC or getting started with DC. It will uh, very. Uh, beginning for um, everyone and we have uh, this sim the user manual it's, uh, this manual we offer the step by step how to use the sim software and we have uh, the, a lot of uh, video for PCM or this sim also okay so uh, so today we are discuss about the so one of the application as you know the key challenge that engineer often uh, facing motor drive uh, included motor performance evaluation the controller design current and speed uh, feedback loop or the power converter major component dimensioning and today we will see the uh, control design one of uh, the application of pc the the um, uh, design for the PLFM the motor drive. So let's see all the content. We have the overview, the symptom specification, the step by step design, the procedure, the the step one to uh, step five for launch the design suite until the run simulation with the inverter switching model, and the result and conclusion. So first of all, the overview, the control loop for design PLFM is in non achiever task. It's involved the design of inner current control loop and outer speed loop. In that situation, we must consider motor nonlinearity and other factors such as routing and um, assembling frequency and the motor and drive efficiency. Also, to achieve the uh, optimal performance, we need to develop and implement one control algorithm. So, this is application note will, uh, will show you how to design optimize the motor drive for under 100 um, kilowatt. PMFM using the PMFM uh, drive GMAX template. So you can find the file for this in the folder application node design in the PC. So let's uh, open this uh, folder. 
So here is the uh, folder we uh, install the uh, PC file. So we can go to the example here. We see a lot of PC example from the ACDC, the power um, converter, the ACDC also. We have the bus, the bus, the inverter, the PFC also, the rectifier, the digital, and so on. And then we have the DCS also. We have the PVPM and FPVPM. Okay, so let's open one of them to see. So okay, so for example, I will open the DCS to FPVPM. For example, we open. Okay, so here is the schematic of the um, Photoshop inverter with the uh, Sinusoid PVPM. So to run it, you can go to uh, Run Simulation here, and you can choose the or the reference here to add here so okay we have the response of the all three files of the current EI, EV and EC and if you want to click here we can see the VI okay the VI and V carrier to generate the PV capacity also okay so it's very useful to forge so okay so let's try another example of uh, VAD to device at PVKPM. Okay, it's the same. All right, so let's see, open the DCDC. Let's see the bug computer here. Okay, let's zoom a little bit. Okay, so here is the love transfer function of the computer. So we have the RGBT here, the MOSFETs actually, and we have the diode and the resistance and capacity and the induct inductor. So let's see, we have the e reference and the current PI, current controller, and the base whip. So let's run the simulation again. So we can see the percentage of running here. Okay, this one we can see directly the ambient and phase of current. So let's see another response for. All right, so this one we can see the response of the amplitude T and the phase T. So okay, come back to the application of uh, PLM motor drive. Um, uh, luckily we we can find we cannot find the the application in this uh, folder. So uh, you guys can try install another uh, PC version uh, to see the application of PMM. So in this year we can see the symptom specification based on the ZMAP motor PMM by from ZMAP. So we have the model 100Q1 uh, for maximum power. We have one of uh, 500 uh, voltage for VDC. My number point the 12 and number slot the 18. And number of phase in three phase and rotor in IPM is mean the inner the rotor. And we have the dimension of both outside and inside starter. And we have the starter in distributed widening. And all the parameters in the torque constant, the max speed, and initial. So, step by step, the design procedure. Step one is launch the design switch template. Basically, go to design switch. So, we can see here the uh, the schematic we have the PMM here, so we have the inverter here, we have the DC bus, and we have the motor controller, including the, the speed controller, outside current controller inside here, and there is a SIG PVKM uh, to control all the SIG vans of inverter here. Okay, and the step to reload the DMAC model file to load all the parameters of PMM uh, motor, and we can see here the motor drive. Uh, design switch. Uh, we we don't have this one. And step three, enter the symptom parameter or parameter P of um, PMM. And next one, you can enter all input parameter. Click on the button uh, speed talk curve to see the speed talk uh, and the speed power curve of the drive based on the specification parameter as below. 
again we can update the parameter file in the SQL tier and ah, design so that is automatically calculate the parameter current control loop okay so step 4 is run simulation with the inverter's average model and the step 5 run simulation with the inverter switching model so here you can see the simulation result from design and the result the waveform so go for the startup tension of 100 km IPM uh, from 0 to 60 thousand IPM in the top left window left are the motor current we see the IDs and uh, IQ ID and IQ very good very nice uh, results so in conclusion with the motor flight uh, design suit and ZMAC model you can quickly set up and simulate the PNFM device system that take into account all the number of years of the real motor. So this will actually help a motor design engineer and control engineer in evaluating the motor performance in a motor drive environment and have hardware engineer in design and, and designing and signing the inverter also. So okay, this concludes this video. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video and learn some more about the PCM and um, Manap Simulate and Power Electric and Motor Drive in this uh, channel. So I will see you in the next video. So thank you very much and have a nice day.